at seven sites in six different cities around the Southern District of Mississippi, HSI special agents executed administrative and criminal search warrants, resulting in the detention of approximately 680 illegal aliens. Now, while we are a nation of immigrants, more than that, we are first and foremost a nation of laws. And the rule of law is the bedrock, the very foundation of our great country. I heard someone say a country without borders is no country at all. And while I agree with that, I would also add, without law, there is no order. Without the enforcement of law, there is no justice. Today, through the hard work of these men and women in law enforcement, we are once again becoming a nation of law and order. And we will continue to ensure that justice is done. The United States of America is the greatest nation in the history of the world. And it's no wonder that people from around the world want to come here to our country. But while we do welcome folks from other countries, they have to follow our law. They have to abide by our rules. They have to come here legally. Or they shouldn't come here at all. And the same goes for our employers. To those who take advantage of illegal aliens, to those who use illegal aliens for a competitive advantage or to make a quick buck, we have something to say to you. If we find that you have violated federal criminal law, we're coming after you. Once again, I commend our partners with HSI for conducting this operation with the respect and the dignity for the safety and welfare of our fellow man and our fellow woman, no matter their illegality. But since this is an ongoing federal criminal investigation, I don't want to say too much other than we in the U.S. Attorney's Office and with HSI and our other federal partners will continue to do our job to investigate and to prosecute those who choose to violate our federal criminal laws in order to make our citizens safer and our country more secure. At this time, I want to turn it over to Acting Director of the United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Matt Alex. Matt. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. I'd like to thank U.S. Attorney Hurst, Special Agent Charge Jerry Miles, uh, Homeland Security Investigations, Scott Sutterfield, who's the Acting Field Office Director for ICE Enforcement and Removal Operations, and their tremendous staffs, both within the U.S. Attorney's Office as well as within HSI and ERO, that made this case possible today and will go forward. ICE is committed to enforcement of all laws under its purview to include both the criminal and civil enforcement of the immigration laws passed by Congress. The laws surrounding illegal employment HSI is committed to enforcing the immigration laws of this country, especially with regard to employment, utilizing a three-pronged approach, compliance, enforcement, and outreach. Employers need to understand that the integrity of their employment records are just as important to the federal government as the integrity of tax files or bank accounts. HSI's commitment to this enforcement of these laws is evidenced by the significant increase of work site enforcement actions in FY 2018, in which 6,848 cases were initiated, 779 criminal arrests, 1,525 administrative arrests, and 5,981 I-9 inspections. Simply put, strong interior enforcement is essential